Welcome to Daily Devo, I'm Pat. Today we're gonna to talk about divided loyalty. One of my favorite stories, and I really mean it this time, in the Older Testament is the one with the prophet Elijah confronting the priests of Baal on top of Mount Carmel. Oh, how I would have loved to witness those events in person. Now, I don't have time to unpack the whole story, but, but there's a portion of it that relates to the verse in James that we're looking at today. James chapter 1, verse 6. James writes, But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. James is imploring us to not be fickle and unstable and wavering. Okay, that's easy to grasp. Let me, let me throw a curve. What's the difference between the person who doubts, who has divided loyalty, as James talks about, and the man who came to Jesus in Mark, in Mark 9 saying, I believe, help me with my unbelief. What's the difference between the, 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 the person in James and the person who came to Jesus? Good question. The difference is that the man coming to Jesus is struggling with doubt, but giving that doubt to God as well. In other words, he's completely trusting himself to God, even his doubts. James, on the other hand, is warning about the one who is holding on to their doubts instead of giving those to God as well, the double-minded. Here's the connection to the story of Elijah. If you know the story, you probably remember the dark humor where Elijah is almost mocking all of the prophets of Baal. It's seriously so good, you should read it today. But what we often miss is that before he turned on them, he spoke to his own people, the ones who should have been following God. He confronted the people of Israel and he said, How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal is God, follow him. Centuries later, James is employing, uh, imploring us with the same message. Quit wavering. Except now he's speaking specifically to our lives in the midst of trials. James is saying, listen, when the difficult times hit, it is essential that you are not double-minded, fickle, unstable, and unwavering. Go to God for wisdom and if there are doubts, submit them to him as well. Now, this is, this is not about having it all together or never struggling in our suffering. But it is James telling us to go all in, knowing that in the midst of our difficulties, there's a great danger that we lose sight of who God is and are tempted to quit relying on him. Are you struggling? Are you doubting? Are you wrestling with some really, really tough questions? Well, bring it to God. All of it. Bring it to God. Quit wavering. Bring it to God. Even if you need to be like that man with Jesus in Mark chapter 9. I believe. Help me with my unbelief.